Hello, everyone, and welcome into some Marquette predictions. Today, we're previewing the Marquette Golden Eagles as they head out to the East Coast to take on the Providence Friars in another Big East battle. Jack Phillips, this time alongside Dan Evington. Dan, thanks for being here. Glad to be here, Jack. So, before we get into the Providence game, looking back at the last game, Marquette took on the Creighton Blue Jays, the number 15 ranked Creighton Blue Jays. Marquette obviously coming in at number 19. Marquette really couldn't get anything going. Their scoring was off. Howard only had 13. Adam led the way for the team with 18 points. Looking back at that game, what were your thoughts from that one? Well, Jack, going into it, I thought it was going to be a loss. Creighton's a really good team. Marcus Zagrowski is a good scorer. Tyshawn Alexander is a great all-around player. And when Marcus Howard isn't scoring, it's not going to be a win for Marquette. It was Sakara Adam and Theo John kind of leading the way. Kobe McEwen had a decent game, but Marcus needs to score more in order for Marquette to beat the number 15 team in the country. Yeah, definitely. Again, you know, Marquette, in the, in the week before, they were finally ranked for the first time. They came in at number 18, I believe. Fall back to number 19. Mm -hmm. Now they have a chance to try and protect that ranking against Providence today. Providence going in unranked, but remember last time Marquette played this team, it was in Fiserv on January 7th. Providence squeaked away with an 81-80 to win, and Providence has beaten Seton Hall mm -hmm. before too, so anything could happen in this game. It's at the Dunkin' Donuts Center. What are your predictions for this one, and who's going to be your key impact player? I think that Marquette's going to lose this one. I think that sadly it's going to be a loss at the dunk. Uh, they're going to go, or Providence is going to get the sweep against Marquette this season, and I think my key impact player is actually going to be Greg Elliott coming off the bench because you know that Marks needs to get you points and you know that you need a lot of points from the starting lineup, but the bench production needs to be a little bit more, and I think that Greg Elliott really needs to step up both on the offensive and defensive ends in this game. It's going to be definitely interesting, and I agree. I think Providence will get the season sweep, which is actually interesting because historically Marcus Howard and the Golden Eagles have actually performed well right. against Providence, mm -hmm. so this would be kind of a, a tide shifter in a sense. But regardless, thanks for being here, Dan. Don't forget to follow at Matt Yazel, or I should say follow Matt Yazel on Twitter at MJ Yazel, and of course Zoe Comerford on Twitter at Zoe underscore Comerford. And of course, you can always follow our coverage at MUR Sports. But again, Dan, thanks for being here. Dan Abington, Jack Phillips, thanks for listening, everyone, and we'll see you later.